Hi, Martin here. Today I'm going to show you what I've been doing. I, I'm actually doing an intake manifold change, putting the 08 intake manifold in. But while I'm at it, I'm going to be doing a wire tuck. I want to get rid of those wires that go across the valve cover. And uh, I'm probably going to do this in stages because it's going to be very involved. So I'm going to work on the uh, left side over there first. And then we'll get the right side. I'm going to move the battery, stuff like that in videos yet to come. So, say, if you haven't ever subscribed to me before, please do so. Hit that subscribe button down there and then that bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications as I get these videos out on this wire tuck I'm doing and the battery move, stuff like that. All right. Well, let's get started. All right. Right here you can see where I've got the wiring harness run back here. And you know, of course before it ran up here just like this one does. I have that one yet to do. Of course this one's going to be a lot harder because it's got a lot more to it. Now as soon as we get everything hooked up you won't have any wires running across the valve cover at all or coming down through here this way and the wires that ran down here was a couple ground wires one to your O2 sensor and your oil pressure gauge and then also these wires here for your AC temperature sensor and map sensor those are all run back here as well instead of over the valve cover. I believe I'm going to shorten these up because these ended up growing length going this way where on the fuel injectors I ended up losing length and I ended up having to solder in a new pigtail um, and I just changed out pretty much all the connectors is what I did and added anywhere from two to four inches to each one of them. The coils seem like they're going to be fine as far as length goes. And what you're doing is coming up through those cavities through the uh, cylinder head. Get a shot. Over here on this side, you see there, you got all these holes going right up through there. There, there. Now I did pull the the O2 sensor wire and the oil pressure wire back out of the harness here. And I'm going to take it from back there, bring it around over here, and run down along the unibody and uh, get to the O2 sensor back here. The oil pressure gauge is right, you know, up front right, here. I wanted to show you too. Here I am. I'm changing out one of the O2 sensor connectors. As you can see, the insulation is really bad. I'm surprised it didn't short out. In fact, it was much worse up here in the harness about four inches. As you can see the copper right there. I think I just got lucky and none of that ever shorted. So what I did is I got a chunk of a new pig, another pigtail out of the pick apart. It had, you know, the wires real good shape. Now the only thing about those, you look real careful. They got these like little tabs on them and they're made to plug into a particular O2 so you don't mix up your O2 sensors especially if they're next to each other. Like for instance these two are the back ones. And if you look real careful at them side by side you'll notice 
that these little tabs, one of them is in a different location. Yeah, it's this side one right here. It sits at a different height than that one. Now, that's the only thing that makes it not plug in. Okay, so what I did, I couldn't actually find one just like this. So, all I did is two of the three match up. And the third one, I just take a Dremel and I grind off that part of it. And it just plugs in fine. And of course, the, the wires don't match up as far as color to color go. That's not a big deal. You just make sure when you're... Uh, you do one wire at a time, you know, and make sure that the, the one wire that you're soldering onto is the same location as the, the original one was. Now I brought it up here above the in, over here where the intake is so I can work on it. Now I was able to actually cut out almost three feet of the wiring because of the I'm relocating it down here. Instead of it running across the valve cover and around the motor, I went ahead and soldered it all together. Slid heat shrink over it. Now I'm going to shrink those down and then I got a bigger piece of heat shrink right here. I'm going to slide that up over all of this and shrink that down. All right, I got it all shrunk down. Looks pretty good. Now I've got some uh, the split loom. I'm gonna slide that over it. put a little tape on each end all right this is as far as I'm going to take the wire tuck for right now I'm just going to do this side man to come over here and do this side is going to have to wait for another day um, I shortened all of these by a few inches the ones that come up to the map sensor and the engine coolant and the AC and there you can see what I got done. It's going to ride right in there. And then your connections will come out right through those holes in the cylinder heads right there. Well, after getting the intake back on and starting to put the coils in here, I came into a small problem. The very first one I hook up, no problem at all. Had a good length to it. Everything worked out nice. Um, and here is where the problem starts. The second coil is not going to reach, nor is the third or the fourth one. As you can see right here is my connector right here, and it's you know that's like two it'd be nice if it was two inches longer maybe even two and a half inches longer or a little slack in there so i had to go down to pick apart and cut chunks of the harness off and i'm going to lengthen these three here and i also need to lengthen for the uh, it, uh spark capacitor right here this one wire So I'll get that done and get that hooked up. There's a shot of, I mean, you can just see how clean that is now. And how easy that would be to just pull the bolts off of that valve cover and pull that right out of there. Next, I'll be moving the battery and tray 
and then I'm gonna take care of this fuse block this is gonna go away relocate it and then also the transmission control unit I'm gonna move that as well so this is gonna give you a really clear shot of the valve cover down here and then in upcoming videos I'm gonna get rid of all the wires just like I did on the other side the ones that run across the valve cover and then this huge chunk of wiring right here this is going to get relocated most of this will get added to the back harness part of the harness right back there and that way it's not in too much of an obstruction the ECM that sits back here your PCM that will probably stay where it's at because it is out of the way okay, well that's as far as I'm going to take the wire tuck for today stay tuned hit that subscribe button down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of any upcoming videos as I get these posted and get this wire tuck done. All right, well, thanks for watching.